I have been sculpting animals since I was a little kid. From the time I could sculpt anything, I started sculpting animals. It's just what I've always loved to do. Needle felting is sculpture with a barb needle. It's using a needle that has little barbs on it that are inserted into wool and the barbs tangle up the fibers so that eventually they bind together and you can sculpt them into any shape that you want. Traditionally, it was done with uh, felting machines that had lots of needles. Someone in the 80s figured out that you could take a felting needle from a felting machine, use the felting technique, but with an individual needle so that you could give something a lot of detail. Needle felting does have a sound. It's not a very loud sound. It's, it sounds sort of like a dog scratching itself. It has this ch 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 ch, -ch sound. And what's making that sound is the sound of the barbs rubbing against the wool, tangling up those fibers. I have no idea how many pokes it takes to create one animal. It reminds me of the Tootsie Pop question. I would say so many thousands of pokes. I mean, if you think about the speed at which I'm using a needle to create something and how many hours I spend creating each piece, it's more pokes than I would care to think about. Especially if I start to do the math of how many pieces I've made over the past, you know, 10 plus years and how many pokes that might be. It's a lot of pokings. It would, ex it explains a lot about my personality, I think. Some days are better than others. I've poked myself countless times. <laughs> kind of comes with the territory. There are days where I don't poke myself at all, and there are days where I question what it is I'm doing with my life because it feels like all I'm doing is poking myself all day. <laughs> my name is Jocelyn Crodman, and I'm a needle felter.